Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you some pro spacing techniques inside of Wix Studio. Now, before we get started, I do wanna mention that if you want to see videos just like this, but before anybody else, you can press that join button down below the video to become a channel member. I typically release videos one to four weeks early, so channel members get to see the videos a little bit earlier. And it's a great way to help support the channel if you have the means to. I will say that just subscribing and watching the videos is plenty of support and I do appreciate everyone that does watch the videos. So thank you all. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So here I am in Wix Studio and my plan for today is to kind of build a couple sections, not too many, um, and kind of show you some techniques that I would use to build the section in a nice way. So for the first section, I just wanna create like a stack for like a hero section. But what I want to do first is add some spacing around the sides. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is come over to the position area here in the toolbar, and we're gonna add padding to all sides except for the top. And what I want to do here is add padding to all sides. So typically I like to do 5%. And we'll go ahead and apply that to all sides by pressing the little link icon. And you'll see that it adds like this kind of turquoise-ish, greenish blue um, little border on the inside of our section. And that is our padding. So now we can place content inside of this and I'll kind of sh show you how it's gonna look in just a minute. So we'll add a very simple title here. We'll make it a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and center it and we'll send it to the middle. Maybe we'll even duplicate this title and move it above, but make it maybe like 24 pixels. Maybe not make it bold, we'll maybe make it like a little bit lighter. Okay, and then below that, let's add a paragraph. We'll center the paragraph and just for fun, we'll make it a little bit lighter and we'll drag this underneath the title. And last but not least, we might use a button here as well. Now I do want to grab all of these items and stack them together. And then I will say that for these items, we might want to adjust the item spacing to maybe be like 2.5%. I think that looks pretty clean. And here for this item spacing, it applies that spacing in between all of the items, which if I hover in between the items, you can see that roughly goes to 15 pixels. Now, sometimes you might want to add a little bit more space in between some items and you can do that but I'm just gonna undo that for now. But what I want to do is send this to the top and I want to grab the section and remove the height. Now what that's gonna do is it's going to allow us to add a brand new section and this spacing that we have here is gonna be consistent for all breakpoints and that's kind of what we want. For example, if I just remove the spacing here, we don't want our content to be smushed up together because that doesn't look the best. So adding that spacing here um, will always ensure on all breakpoints and all screen sizes that there is spacing in between this content and the content in this section. Now what I will say here is for this section, I might want to add an image and I might want to stretch it. And maybe I want to round the corners here. So maybe we'll do like 64. Now I will say it may not look good that this image is pushed up against the edge of the screen with the rounded edge. So just like we did with the section above, we might want to add that padding here as well. However, if we apply it to all sides, that might look good. However, you know, right now the top of this section we only have 5% padding, and then we have 5% on the bottom, and then we have 5% here. So technically, there is 10 spacing here between this content and this content, but only 5% between the header and this content. So what you might wanna do is with this section here, maybe we remove the spacing on the top. So now it looks a little bit cleaner than if we had additional spacing on the top because now it looks like there's a little bit too much spacing here and there's a little bit less space here and I just don't think that looks as clean. So typically, like I said before, we would just remove the padding from the top on this one and I just think that looks a lot cleaner. Now for this final section here, what we're gonna do is build two cards. So I'm gonna split this into two sections here. I'm gonna give us some space in between. So I'm gonna use 5VW. And 5VW basically stands for viewport width. And viewport is a percentage of your user's screen. So if we're using VW, which is viewport width, we are using a percentage of our user screen. And in this case, it's basically the same as using 5%. Now, what I will say is, 
To keep our website consistent, I also wanna add the padding here. So once again, I'm gonna add 5%. I'm gonna use it on all sides. But again, I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna remove it from the top. That way we just have something that looks like this. And inside of this, what I want to do is just add a box. And I'm gonna give you two examples here. When to use padding on this box and when not to. For example, if I just go ahead and just round the edges really quickly to maybe 64, and maybe I want to place content inside of this. Maybe we'll do something um, very basic like an image and we'll do a, a little title and a paragraph. So if we have something that looks like this and I'm just going to rearrange it um, to look something like this. And I'm gonna send this to the left, send this to the left, maybe expand this out. And let's just grab all three of these elements and stack them together. Now, for example, this doesn't look all that good. So what I would want to do is maybe with this container is maybe add some padding inside of it. Uh, maybe we can do like 7.5%. I think that will look good. So we're gonna apply that to all sides. And now we have something that looks like this and I think it looks pretty clean. However, what if we don't want to have it quite look like that? Maybe we want to have something where the image, there is no space. So in this case, it wouldn't make sense to have the padding on the inside. So how can we do that with this? So the first thing I want to do, so let's just grab this image. We'll paste it over here. And what I might want to do is actually split this into two parts. So I'm gonna grab this container. I'm gonna apply a CSS grid and I'm gonna give us a top and a bottom. Perfect. I'm gonna make sure that this image is in the top and we're gonna stretch it. Now for the corners here, I do want to unlink these because I do want the top, the top to match the rounded edge of the container. And then for the bottom, let's just go ahead and set these to zero. So now we should have something that looks like this. Now, if I go ahead and grab this text and paste it in here and we can stack these together and let's move it down here. What we're not gonna want to do is have this be aligned. We, we are gonna want for text elements, we are gonna want that spacing. So what we can do is with the stack selected, we can place this in a container and with this container, we'll make sure it's in the bottom grid cell and stretched, fantastic. And then with this container, we can then add that padding. So maybe we do 7.5%. We apply it to all sides, just like that. And now we should have something that looks like this. And I think that looks pretty clean. So what I'm basically teaching you is how to use padding and grids to help separate content that just makes the design look a little bit more friendly and consistent. But that's gonna basically wrap it up for today's quick little tips. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.